<laughs> His name is Solomon. Oh, that nigga think he biblical. Right. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the audacity. You're not the most beautiful woman. <laughs> Neither are you the most intelligent. You just call her stupid. Go away. On Facebook of all On places. On Facebook. All right. We got fresh. We ready. We ready. Yo, fucking audacity. Are you kidding me? Oh, you hear it? We back in the studio. I'm not singing no more. We back in the studio. <laughs> I ain't got to do it no more. We, we back. We, uh, we back. Uh. 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 I got you doing the call, bro. Hey, boy. Hey. 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 <laughs> We back in the studio, y'all. Wait, it's call? so much fun. How y'all doing? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of the Hearthstone Podcast. We back in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> we back. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Damn, my water man for I was, I was about to take a sip. That shit all the way over there. <laughs> Why is it over there? I see it, too. <laughs> I ain't want to leave it on the table. Mine is on down yonder. It's like down there. Oh, man, y'all, we back. I'm so excited. Headphones on. Right. We got the Sound, buttons. Right? We got the buttons. I have to press them all just for the fuck of it. Bye, Michaela. <laughs> we back. I had to press them all. You got it. Oh, it's still on. Not got to catch. You, you like, uh, like Ash. A, like a Pokemon. From Pokemon. Yeah. Got to catch them all. <laughs> Pokemon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all didn't watch that after school. Why is this still right? Okay, there we go. Y'all didn't watch Pokemon after school? Yeah. What you used to watch after school? When I was at my grandfather's house, he ain't have real cable. He had like hood cable. Oh, yeah, man. So I used to watch, I used to like, watch like all the PBS like shows. Like Arthur yeah. and stuff like that, Dragon Tales. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, you used to watch Between the Lions because they was getting it cracking. Yeah. Come in between the, the lions. The fact that you remember the song is a. Because that lady was singing, for real. She was singing. That lady was really singing. You know, I love a good theme song. She felt it. Yeah, she was really she feeling it. She felt that all in her soul. I used to I used to love to watch that after school with my ramen noodles and my grandpa. Oh I, used my to be God. I used to put Doritos in my ramen noodles. What? Yeah. Michaela. Why are you looking at me like that for? Like, it's not like Michaela. something people do. Who no. do that? Me. <laughs> Is it me? <laughs> <laughs> is it me? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> that lady said, like, it's not something people do. I said, who do that? Me. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, oh, we're going to have fun today. We we're going to have time fun last today. Night. No, for real. That's how my weekend was. Me, yo. That's, like, that video literally got sent, like, four or five times in the group chat. We had a time last night. Yes. It was on everybody's story. It was... Because we really had a time. Niggas had a time this weekend. Yeah, Doing something mad simple. Yeah. Like, it make no damn sense. Y'all had me fucking dancing to Chris Brown. I was really... Put, oh, yeah, I saw that. I went out um, the whole routine. Yeah, I saw I that still remember. In, in more than one story. Really? No, it was one story. Oh, I was like, wait, who else got it? I was like, it was one story. <laughs> I was like, who else got the damn thing? I went back and watched it again because Ooh. I was like, that's Michaela. Oh, yeah, I told you the rum punch got to me. So, yo, you had rum punch too. I did. Mom, shout out to Deslin and them fucking pouches. Yeah, she did her thing. I had to steal one and leave it in what? the my. No, because she there was like a, there was only a little bit, so I took one and put it in my um butcher McCoggan. You stole. Yeah, I took another one because everybody. She said you could only have one. I like I don't listen. I live here, so I took two and I went downstairs and I put it in my refrigerator. I Bye. just I just realized I had this today, so I was like I can't drink this before coming here. No, so I'm just gonna. You should have bought it. I should have bought it. We could have had, we got a little half and half cup. Damn. Well, damn. Next episode, we we sipping on something. I'm going to tell her to make us some rum punch. Next that episode, we got to sip too. on something. Because this, Ray and imagine, his, imagine Ray. us. No, you, no, 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 no. I will break out into a full dance routine. I don't need to be doing that. I would. <laughs> would you going to break dance in the middle of the studio? Yeah. Bye. Yeah. And that's enough on Michaela. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough from Michaela, please. Why are you playing like that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Nah, but this weekend was really, it was really a lot. You went to a Harlem Renaissance party. That looked cute. Yeah, my friend. I uh, love me a theme. Out, shout out Chanel. It was her 30th birthday. Happy birthday, Chanel. We had a time last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's really how that party went. I don't know what them bartenders was putting in them drinks, but the theme drinks was cute. It was like a, um, there was I forgot the name of the first one, but it was like a whiskey based drink, mm-hmm. and then Dead Star Beauty was a um, 
tequila. It was like tequila, mango, mint. It was mad good. And that then sounds good. the rum punch was called Rare Occasion because um, my friend Chanel and two of my other friends, Ayana and Toli, they have an event planning business. Mm-hmm. Follow them, y'all, on Instagram. It's called A Rare Occasion. That sounds cute. Um, and they, you know, like they basically decorated the whole party, even though it was the Chanel party. She was helping put mm-hmm. her shit together too. That's I would do the same thing. Um, and yeah, they did. Everything was everything was amazing. Like they that put the whole so thing together. Like the theme was theming. Like they, she had the dancers. I love the theme. She had the lady in the thing dancing in the bowl and the cup. It was a live band. Like the theme was really theming. I want them to play my party. Well, hey, whenever I have one of my friends, I, yo, maybe I could. Everything they've planned has been fucking amazing. So I, I want a bashment theme. So I, I thought, yo, I really it was basically that. a Harlem Renaissance bashment. Did you not? Hear <laughs> I the saw, music? I like, saw like, what's happening. <laughs> I'm like, it was a Harlem Renaissance bashment. I didn't hear no Billy Holiday. Did you not? <laughs> well, no, actually, <laughs> I didn't no Billy Holiday. Shout out to now my friend Tanya. Shit. My friend Tanya. I didn't hear uh, no jazz. What happened? <laughs> Tanya, that was in the beginning of the party. I'm that was yelling. the jazz. I gotta band. stop playing. And then Tanya, I'm um, saying a song by Nancy Wilson. It was really giving the theme. Like no, like there's no poetry for Langston Hughes or nothing like that. No, nothing no, it was that no that time for poems. It was no time. <laughs> Um, we had the song Tanya sang the song Tanya could sing her ass off So Tanya sang the song And then the band was there And then it was time for the DJ To get back on that On the ones and twos That's and cool shit up. Not y'all twerking And fucking flapper dresses That's hilarious <laughs> <laughs> That is funny Not y'all wanting Not even twerking Niggas was daggering and Oh my god <laughs> I saw I saw I was like Oh my god <laughs> I was like What type of Harlem Renaissance Is this Oh my it was the Harlem Renaissance. It was the Roaring Twenties. And in St. Vincent. Because that's basically. <laughs> that is giving. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. That's basically. Y'all had, a, like, y'all had a Harlem Renaissance fete. That's yes, crazy. A Harlem Renaissance fete. That's crazy. That shit was funny. That though. looks fun. I yeah. love me a theme. Niggas had a good time. People I love really me a died theme. that night. I, I feel. I, see. People I really. Feel like they could, I feel like you would have died. People really died that night. Probably. They're like. I made it home because I, I made sure I was drinking water in between my drinks. I had to. I was like, nah, 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 nah. Y'all got water in here? Like, you know how you start drinking and you be like, yeah. <laughs> so it's, y'all nah, not high. Y'all, y'all, y'all not high. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need water. <laughs> right. And then I was like, let me go back there in the back with the food. I, I ate like four ceviches. Like, because it was like in these old cups. I uh-huh. ate like four of them shits. And then I had like three waters. And I was like, all right, we had a similar we back. Night. We had a similar night. Cause we like, back. Because I was slowly fading. I was like, oh, shit. You, nah, you got to make it home. I had to be a fake host. Oh, yeah. Thank yes. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost died. The roof was cute, though. It is. I, we got it together. I wish the other furniture was there, but they got rid of it. They take off the furniture? Yeah, they get new furniture. So, oh, and it, I didn't is know. Is it because of the rain? Huh? <laughs> is it because of all the rain? I don't know. I ain't questioning it. I was like, mm. all right. So they get, I was like, hopefully it's there for my housewarming because, like, nah. But yeah, because we had to carry mad fucking chairs up those fucking steps. I'm like, my, I don't want to break my nails. They don't got an elevator to the roof? No. I don't know. Maybe. They do, but you still have to walk upstairs to get to the oh. roof. So it's like, yeah, I had to carry mad shit. I'm like, first of all, this is not my party. Shout out to Ahmad. I've, I'm really a good friend because I'll, I'll never do that again. Ooh. Nah, we threw a party for his 30th birthday. He's like, oh, let me just use your roof. I was like, fine. Yeah, it's a lot, I mean, well, it's the year 92 people to turn Yeah, 30, I was like, so you know what, fine. I'm a, I'm a, oh, shit. Oops. It's a lot of 30s going on. A I lot thought of 30s I put my going shit on. on Do Not Disturb. What happened? But yeah. Oh, I forgot. I only had certain people could text me. Oh. No, my sister. Oh, okay. If that's what you're saying. I'm not putting on anyway. <laughs> anyways, so we had a little rooftop shindig and stuff like that. My friend made like rum punch in the pouches and stuff like that. I almost yeah, that died. Rum punch, I almost fucking died. That rum punch was It only had out. one. And you know how it was hot? I can't drink when it's hot. Oh, yeah. We was inside, but it was still hot as fucking air. Nah, we was on our roof. When I tell you, I was about to pass away. And like, then literally, we took it. like, niggas yeah. was throwing, like, one of my friends, Keisha, <laughs> she had a, a rag, like, literally a rag on here. Mm-hmm. And niggas was like throwing a rag and circle, like not you know, like throwing really, a rag. Niggas was really fetting in there. It's really a fet. Nah, Ooh. Jersey don't fet, but we had a time. We had tacos. We had man. <laughs> nah, we, the food was. We given. played games. The food was given. Like it was cute little party food. Like you know, it was and it was all in like nice little. Yeah. I'm telling you, that ceviche. I don't. That it was like shrimp, mangoes, maca. That sounded good. And then it was a little lobster rolls and. Little uh, pasta salads. Ooh, it was very, yeah, very I, delicious. I, what is that? What, what accent is that? <laughs> it was very delicious. You sound like one of the hormone monsters from which Big Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you sound like. <laughs> it was very delicious. It was very delectable. Nah, I had a, yeah. 
This weekend we had a time. Yeah. We had a time. I'm I'm so glad that I didn't wake up like half dead on Sunday though. No, I just woke up in pain because we had I had to keep walking up and down the stairs. My knees felt crazy and My I was like that's hurt. what that's cuz you was over there fucking fetting for real. Like I was really like I was literally like jumping around the place, stopping and winding in the middle of the floor like that's why my knees was hurting. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that no more. My knees was on fire did when you, I woke up. Did you stretch? That day, yes, I did. After I woke up, I, I mean, after I was officially up, I had to stretch. No, I really had to you because had to stretch before my then. knees was welling. Mm-mm, my back was on fire, screaming. I had to smoke and put icy hot on my shit before I went to bed. <laughs> no, yeah, I put, I put um, what's that? Asper cream with the lidocaine on my knees. <laughs> What happened to us? <laughs> What's going on? Oh my we god! Get nah, my, I'm an idiot. So I'm I'm an funny. idiot because I put the icy out on it, and then I like I was like, oh shit, I gotta take a shower. Oh, I no, went in the shower, and then it dripped down to my booty, and Ooh, that shit it was burning. <laughs> that shit burned. It was burning. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you, I screamed. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> It was burning. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not supposed to happen. And it's bad enough I used a Dr. Ronald's peppermint shit too. So I was like, yo, it's just like extra, t- it was just <laughs> extra tingly. Your butt was icy to do Ice, thing. Yes, like. and hot. <laughs> hot as fuck. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> yo, I can only imagine. That I would never want to experience. I was like, yo, really, nigga? This is crazy. That would have. I would that would just, I would I'm have not, to jump out the I don't make really good decisions when I smoke I, as you can see. I just <laughs> hopped in there. Nah. Yeah, I definitely needed I needed that though. After I, after I got out that shower, that was the that was like literally like I after I got back in the house from the party, like I literally like took my dress off as nice as possible and I didn't want to fuck it up, right? And I jumped right in the shower. Like I ain't even You have to. I ain't even my bag was on the floor. That's exactly what happened like, to me. I was like, shit was just places. People was like, oh, we staying up. I'm like, just get in the fucking, go on the couch, go on the couch. I don't care. Like, literally, like, it's I ain't like, even. Yeah. I was like, don't bother me. Don't fake, don't call me, tell me you leaving, just leave. I just <laughs> do everything, like, right by the front door. Like, my dress was literally, like, by the front door. So like, you had a time then. Because that was hot. I was so, it was yeah. so hot. Like, I couldn't wait to get back in the car and be in the AC. Because mm-hmm. it was just that fucking hot. But we did have a good I hope time. it gets cooler this weekend. Yeah, this I'm weather, not. as of late, is really ass. It like, felt like hell. It be so hot outside. like, And y'all know I love the summertime, but it's been so hot lately that like all it do is fucking rain. I feel like it rains every Sunday. I mean, Monday. Like, what's happening? Global warming. I asked for sun and, and warmth. We asked I did for not s- ask for rain and nasty humidity we every We really day. asked for sun and hoochie daddy shorts, not all right. this bullshit. We ain't asked for this. That's all I asked for. You saw that picture, um, what's that mean? Winston uh, in them shorts? <laughs> you saw them thighs? Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Delicious. Um, I clap for that. I clap for that. I missed these buttons. You had a clap for that. You saw them thighs? Yeah, I was like, oh, wow. shit. Wow. I would just be knocked out and just wrap me like that. I'd sleep <laughs> for days. you going to die. <laughs> I'd sleep for days. You're going to fucking crush your neck. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> huh? <laughs> How you gonna sleep? I ain't say you had to wrap my upper body. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. Like you said, you said he gonna crush my neck. Wait, 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 wait. But what do you do? What? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Sorry. Like, yeah, Sorry. Cool job. He had to wrap his leg around my neck. You Ellen. So you could, you know. <laughs> Body to body. Get off, boo. <laughs> Stop. Stop. I was just singing a song. <laughs> Jesus, I can't even sing a song. No. <laughs> body body to body. body. I was like, I didn't know what you mean. I'm sorry. Jeez. I'm bad. Bad person. Bad. Not bad person. Bad person. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Everybody all right? We okay? No, right. not okay. I guess we're not okay. Oh, never. <laughs> But yeah, all we asked for was Hoochie Daddy shorts and goods and sun. Oh boy, shout out to Winston. I can't. And it's giving hell. Yeah, it's really hell. giving hell outside for real. Like, I'm not coming outside in this type of weather to see that. Sorry, I can't. It's Why? really giving hell outside, Child. and I don't. I don't like it. I almost choked. Oh my god! Pause. Wow. Hey. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Okay. All right. No, just, no, no. Move on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. All right. We're going to move on. Moving on. 
All right, we're gonna move on. on to first, 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 uh, first, let's uh, so also this weekend, I did see Nope, um, it was pretty good. I want to see it, um, but I just segued into that because I wanted to talk about Kiki Palmer because the girls was online alone, the girls was online saying that, um, uh, they'd like to see there's this particular tweet by NBA Gladiator. I'd like to see someone do a deep dive on the similarities and differences between Kiki Palmer and Zendaya's careers. This may be one of the clearest examples of how colorism plays out in Hollywood. They were both child stars, but their mainstream popularity is very different. Then Kiki said, What y'all not going to do? <laughs> what y'all not going to do is. She said, ruin. Baby, this is Kiki Palmer. Right. That's exactly what she said. Yeah, not going to ruin my opening uh, weekend, okay? With some she bullshit. Said, A great example of colorism is to believe I could be compared to anyone. I'm the youngest talk show host ever, the first black woman to start her own show on Nickelodeon, and the youngest and first black Cinderella on Broadway. I am an incomparable talent baby this is kiki palmer and i feel like when i read it in my head i heard it in her voice yeah like you know how she bad like dramatic right i get it okay she said i've been a leading lady since i was 11 years old i have over 100 plus credits and currently starring in an original screenplay that's the number one film at the box office hashtag nope I've been blessed. I've I've had a blessed career thus far. I couldn't ask for more, but God continues to surprise me. So what y'all not going to do is try to come for Kiki Palmer because clearly y'all is not old enough right, to remember. Y'all, y'all remember that, that show? the talk I'm show? An, uh, I'm a new VP. What was that? True Jackson, Jackson VP? MV, yeah, I never okay. finished. I never saw it. Y'all was not old enough to know. Y'all wasn't old enough to know that. Y'all yeah, wasn't really outside working. for that movie. What's it called? Jump Akil, In? Right. Y'all was not here for Jump In. Y'all was not here for, for, for Kill in the B. Because... A kill in the B made her black royalty at this point. Right. That we, everybody thought that bitch really could spell. Right. No, no. dead ass, dead ass. <laughs> dead ass, because, like, how like, the fuck? <laughs> everybody thought that lady really was the a spelling bee champion. Spelling bee champion. So B don't champ. do that. Don't do that to Kiki. Kiki really be working. Don't do that to Kiki. I mean, like, Zendaya is, of, of you know, like, there are things that Zendaya will get because of colorism, but. Don't do that to Kiki because Kiki really been working. You see my pants. <laughs> Kiki really been working. Don't do that to my good sis. Mm-hmm. And she constantly providing us with memes. Memes, like for and, real. And, and good I love how she don't know white people. I love no, that. That's, she that's, don't. That's she really don't. I don't. You saw the one and they was talking about the X Files and she was like, "Well, who is? <laughs> no, I feel that. <laughs> Yo, because that's a lot. That's, that's a lot of white people. That's low key a life that's, I lived. So it's yeah. Bad you could put a whole bunch of people with pictures in front of my face. Right. Like, I don't. Who know are this. these people? Who I don't know who this man these? is. <laughs> I really hit y'all with that. <laughs> who is these niggas? That's I like don't I know get. Who I that feel man that. Is. But yeah, don't please respect Kiki Palmer and go see Nope. I don't understand a lot of y'all saying it y'all was always want to make think pieces about a damn which about a again. movie. Like I don't understand what y'all was expecting. Like if Jordan Peele thinks outside of all of the boxes that you don't think of, so right. I don't know. It was different. I enjoyed it, and it was it wasn't you know it's not scary. It's more suspenseful than anything. It was pretty good, and I like. Um, What's his name? I laughed a, f- a bunch of times in there, too. I'm about to see it tomorrow. I'm going to take myself on a date. Other people ain't laugh. Well, no, some people laugh with me in the theater, but I was laughing. <laughs> you know me. I played too much. It was parts. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <yo. laughs> no, nah, I'm about to go see. I'm about to get my tickets right now. No, yes. Please go see it. You know? I'm about to book my food and drink. I'm about to pre-order everything. Support us. Be ready. Support us. Support snack, us. Was like, I'm like doing snacks in the tap right now. Not you go order the snacks online already? Mm-hmm. Yeah, my popcorn was real fresh when I went to the movies. From the day. bar. It was delicious. I'm going to give me a nice little pizza and a drink. Oh, yeah. The movie that I'll be going to, it got a bar, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it? And the, the rec- Showcase. And uh, the Reclining showcase Cinema. Reclining Seats. Deluxe. <laughs> That's what it is. Deluxe. And it's like L-U-X. Lux. Fancy. Fancy. L-U-X? <laughs> yeah, Deluxe. I'm yelling. Like, okay, fun C, yeah. Um, I hate you so much. <laughs> book your ticket, sis. Book your ticket. Don't make oh, sure y'all go see that. I'm, I'm out here promoing it. Like seven thirty, like, right after I'm in the movie. But make sure y'all go see it. Make sure y'all go see it. Um, you want to get into this? Uh, that song, that division shit. Why the fuck he wasted that Jay Z set? They, I forgot. They wasted. Because <laughs> he to be the one singing. Why the fuck they wasted the fucking Jay Z sample on that bullshit? I was really excited. Cause I really fuck with their music. Me too. And then I turned out, I was like, what in the entire world? When, when I saw that ad and it was like Division and Nick Cannon, an uh, open discussion. I was like, oh, no. I was like, nah. Oh, no. No, 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 no
Absolutely right. the fuck not. Nope. Like, I'm not no, doing it. We're not doing this. No. I don't remember this. I don't. Why are we still? They are grown. They're literally 37. Bitch, you're 36. <laughs> why are you doing this? Like, what are y'all doing? Why are you doing this? What are y'all For doing? For what? I just feel like they want attention at this point. And you had all those people in the video. You had Jermaine Dupree. Was that um, like, first mall? Of all, was that mall from Mall and R- Royal Mall? First of all, <laughs> the last person that you need in your video talking about toxicity is Jermaine Dupree because he fumbled the biggest bag. Right? Bag How you fuck up Janet Jackson? And all of first the of all, you never mind. Because, because one, up. you was very lucky to even have that's that. That's what lady. I was about to say. I said because you, you, you know, you know. You you wasn't supposed to be that. that you know was, you was, was not, not supposed, supposed to be, to be with Jan Jackson. You was you was charming the hell out of my. Right, sis. you had to your little short ass. Sorry. You was charming the hell out of my. Exactly with your little self. Right, your little lucky. Janet taller than you Ooh. over GP. Like no heels, no nothing. Right, that was a blessing. You was you was very lucky, Jermaine. That was the ple- that was a blessing, and the audacity. And then you fumbled, and had the nerve to have a child. Please, right? Fumbled that bag, and then you gonna be on, on division. So I'm talking about if I cheat. What they said something about I don't it, it don't mean I don't love, love you, you or some shit like that. I will. I wish some nigga would say that to me. I wish Janet would have been able would have pulled up at the fucking uh, video shoot and slapped the shit out of you, right? Because I'm like, you know, you want her back, and you ain't getting that back. I hope not. <laughs> Let me not speak for her because right. she she wished him happy birthday this year. I was like, sis, why are you doing that? Don't do that, right? Don't wish like, him happy don't birthday. Wish he don't deserve a happy birthday, right? He had a baby. You could forgive, but you but can't forget. Don't yeah, you could forgive for your own self, for your own healing. Like, forgive for yourself, yeah. forgive for you, but leave that in the past. Yeah, don't say because he birthday. even got on your documentary and lied. He ain't even be, he wasn't even <laughs> honest, right? My man sat in the chair and was like. You know, we just, things just, no, nigga, no, you, you cheated. fucked it up. Exactly. Like, Why are you lying? Just say that. You wrote a whole song about it. You cheated. You heard the album. You wrote a whole song about it and made, made niggas convinced it was Usher. Right. <laughs> had him in a doghouse for mad long. Yo, had niggas thinking Usher was out here. It was you. Right. Okay. Child, y'all just too old to be doing that shit. Hey. Y'all too old. Y'all making it very hard for us. And then they was really on there defending the song. Like, they was on Twitter defending the song. I missed that part. Because people was like, a lot of fans was like, Division, I'm I'm disappointed. Like, why y'all did this? I wanted something sexy. I didn't want to hear that bullshit. They was very disappointed. And yeah. they, you know, people was going. All them niggas in that fucking video. They was really defending it back and forth. I'm like. They was going back and forth with people defending that song. I didn't see that part. Like, I was just no completely funny. turned off. No funny. They was going back and forth with people defending the song. Let me see. Let me go to their tweets and replies and see if I can find some because people was really um, upset. Like, how you go from. F- What's that song that I really like by them? Damn. That's a lot of them. People, now, there's people lying. I like the song. I like the way it stopped. Like, when are we going to grow up? What is so fun about toxicity? I don't know. Like, man. on purpose. I'm sick of this. Y'all don't want to live peaceful lives. Y'all always nope. be on. Y'all be on Twitter talking about be his peace. peace. I want y'all somebody don't want to be peace. my. Yeah, so I want somebody to be my peace. But how you gonna? Y'all bring, don't want you don't peace. want it. You don't want it because you just want to be toxic and start shit. Like y'all really don't want peace. Y'all don't want peace. Y'all want chaos. I see. Y'all really do not want peace. peace. I want. I personally want peace. I don't know about these niggas, but exactly. I, I personally want peace. I got a lot of other shit to deal with. If you, I are, want peace. If from you here. are a healed man, please, yeah. Come to death row. If you healed, come to death <laughs> come row. Come to death row. <laughs> come to death row. Come over here. <laughs> we Why do you not dance. Like that? I don't be dancing. I don't be dancing. I don't be dancing. Meaning, I don't cheat. <laughs> that's, that's the metaphor. If you I don't, don't cheat. Don't want bitches dancing, dancing in your videos, videos. right? Come I don't to death cheat. Row. Exactly. <laughs> come. <laughs> That's a metaphor. No, I don't cheat. I don't be dancing with other niggas. I just be. I stay in my house. <laughs> Come to death row. That's it. Because y'all Cause out like here this playing. is ghetto. I y'all be lying. Shit, I right? want peace. Y'all no, do you not don't. Want no, you don't. You want chaos. You want bitches this to be acting was the crazy. This was shit that had me. T- that had me high. Was that a that really did happen? A open a discussion about open monogamy starring division. Go to Nick hell. Cannon. Why are we inviting Nick Cannon to speak Nick on Nick Cannon anything? got 511 kids. He's like tired with fucking Kiki Wyatt. Like, what the hell you doing? He literally just had baby number... Well, he didn't have it. But baby number eight has popped out today. Shoot. He, so he, why are we... Why, why do we, we want to hear this? anything from Nick Cannon? I don't want to hear anything that Because he's not well. Have to say. He's not. That man said he's having all these kids because... He's really living out that song, Gigolo. <laughs> I'm a gigolo. gigolo. <laughs> he's really living that shit out. Nah, he really that said good, that, that was he was song. having all these kids because he, he have um because of his medical condition. I'm like, bro, so well, you I, your medical pass the medical condition down? Yeah, he has lupus. 
Hey, if Tony Braxton filed, filed for bankruptcy twice and she's still living, right? You be all right. Like, why are you guys spread? It's true. It's true. You really got to spread all your kids around. Everybody about to be related to him soon, right? You really about you just spreading it all around. Kiki Wyatt too, because she got a lot of kids. No, she do. She and got a, she, she, she got a football team. All my sister be doing is, is going to singing that dance song, talking about and if and, and only and you Patty knew. Song, she, right? That's all she's singing. That that one song. As soon as she opened her mouth, you know what she about to say. <laughs> Patty song. <laughs> Patty probably tired of hearing her right? singing. Right. Like, sing something else. <laughs> she sang my first love. Why can't she sing that? Patty be like, I got so many other songs. <laughs> <laughs> if only you knew. And that's then she all be you doing hear. That, uh, that damn. That one rich was like, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. Ah. I was like, girl, relax. Kiki. Kiki. <laughs> she, I know she has other songs. Miss Wyatt, I need you to, I need you to perform something else. Please, mom. She got too many mouths to feed, so she got to hit she up gotta, the jazz clubs and sing. Right, and not sing the jazz Patty's, clubs. Patty song. Not the jazz clubs. She could do my first love. I don't know. Maybe Avant told her she can't. Maybe. She got to do something. <laughs> I don't know. She got the song. She got to switch it up. But for y'all to want to have a discussion about monogamy with Nick Cannon is fucking <laughs> That's nuts. the most like, kind of shit. That is nuts, bro. That's like <laughs> that's like wanting to have a discussion about pork with a Muslim. Like, right? Exactly. What are we about? Exactly. No, that's true. For real. What are we chatting about? This man had how many kids after him and Mariah had the twins? Yeah. This man and he then had went on to have six kids Denny's, with six other hold on, women. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he just get engaged to somebody? Yeah, and, and then, then she, he said he wanted Mariah back too. He pick said, a side 24, and, 24 hours. That was later. Pick a side and stay there. It's either, it, it can't was, be Uchi Wally and one mic. It got to be one. You got to pick something. Literally, it you was 24 have, hours, Michaela. It was 24 hours. He said, uh, something about he could, if he could go back, he would get Mariah. And no, then, 24 then you hours get to, later, talking about this is what y'all wanted. This is what the world wants. First of all, if I was you. that lady, I would have given him like, that ring I was like, this is what you want. I'm throwing that ring at you. I would have threw the ring right ooh, at that. Ooh, that is, ooh, men are nasty. They are nasty creatures. One thing they will always have is audacity. Yeah, a lot of it, too. Too they, much. They said the Kevin Samuels tribe got to hold the division. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I ain't going to lie. That was kind of Rest in peace to that man. <laughs> he caused havoc to the black community, for real. Yo, to black Twitter and black social media in right. general. You heard how he died, right? That's fucked up. <laughs> he's he been talking about fat bitches all the time. And he yeah, he told, died of yeah, high blood women, pressure. He, he told mad black women they was fat and right. they was not going to get chosen. Right, but look at Only you. Only for him to die due Ooh, to high car- blood pressure. Karma is karma crazy. Karma really be out here. And y'all better stop. Y'all, right, y'all be better paying it. Karma really be coming back around and y'all just be treating people like crap. Right. And, and, then, and then you thinking that and nothing And then you just die. Y'all. And then you just die. That's fucked up. Y'all be thinking ain't nothing going to happen to y'all. Right, y'all think. Look at the man y'all was trying to follow. Right. Follow behind. What was that? Where? Yeah. You just saw the gift of Sella got her group back. Was that Winston? Oh, oh yeah. And my friend put this. Oh. That was her response. I'm yelling. <laughs> she play. But yeah, don't just stop playing with people, y'all, because the karma is going to get y'all for real, for real. You see how all that shit he was talking and he dead now. Yeah. Just, I mean, that's so sad, but. That's sad. But like, damn. I don't want nobody like to that. lose their life. But right. Like, but look, just you better be careful. Yeah, I better be careful what y'all be saying. Because look how he took, literally told a bunch of women, women that you too black fat women to that chose. they was too fat to be to be loved. Yeah, but only now. Only for him to, to die, die of high blood pressure. That's crazy. The irony. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all better, y'all better Child, relax out there. Right. Don't, and don't be playing this division song. I love them, but don't play that song. Don't play that one. Play the other one. Play I, just, else. I wanted something sexy. I ain't want to hear that bullshit. Yeah. I was hoping it was going to be like, you know, like most of the other songs. Right. Like, what's that one song I be singing a lot? Um, Damn, I can't Fuck think of that Fuck with me now. That song. That's my song. <laughs> I, I don't know the rest. That's all I know. Hey, ladies. You know you got to earn. Fuck with me now. Fuck what's with that, me now. What's that one album where, where, like, the background is, like, the cover is, like, a sunset? What's the name of that album? I forgot. Um, I? But that one? I'll be running that joint. Uh, not the. What's that song till the morning? That's my shit. Till the morning. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The morning yeah, after. Yeah. Morning That's after. My shit. Yeah, I'm like September fifth. How you go from September fifth to fucking if I get caught cheating? Right. Morning after was a very good album. Amusing her feelings. It I like that yeah, one. That was called, the last yeah. one. I like that one. Yeah, it calls with. It's called with me. That's what I was trying to say. But y'all really come on, y'all did some bullshit. Come on, y'all just come on, like y'all just had between us with snow, and now right. y'all put if I get caught. Right. I like the you heard the um Enough. the you heard the acoustic between us. I like that one better. 
enough of y'all for real. And all of this, like, I don't understand what everybody's obsession is with hurting people and wanting them to right. accept the hurt that you've done to them, and they not supposed to do that shit back. Exactly, because of all, like, if a girl made that shit, y'all would, all hell would break loose. Like, imagine Saweetie made that song. Y'all would right. call her all types of bitches right. and hoes. We gotta accept it from y'all. All now. types of bitches and hoes. Y'all would have called that lady, right? But mm-hmm. now we supposed to. Oh, my man just cheated on me. It's all right because he right. come home to it's me. A, a, no, he gonna no. come home to me and damn near kill me because I don't know what you out there screwing. Right. I don't know who you out there screwing. What they got? Monkeypox is going. Exactly. Around. I was about to say you fuck around get the monkeypox. Monkeypox is going around. You don't love nobody if if, if you your constant cheat, like, thought is to, to do something exactly. wrong to, to them. hurt them. Like why? You, if you want to fucking fuck other bitches and fucking be single, like you got to be like, single. Like, like, like I just why? think about it as a respect point of view. You yeah. must not. You don't even you don't respect, respect me as a yeah, person exactly to sit there and cheat on me. That's crazy. So. Mm-mm. Don't, I, yeah. don't bump that division song, y'all. Right, I got cheated on before. It was not, and not that's a, that on that. Not a good time. No, it's not a good time. Not that a shit good hurt. Time. <laughs> and the way I found hurt. out was fucking crazy too. What you went through the messages? No, I don't mm-hmm. do that. Mm-hmm. The messages found me. Oh, <laughs> nah, niggas the went. Nah, I was just find you. So basically, we went. I'm a quick story, but I'm not gonna do too much detail because I don't be with my business. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I we went. No, for real. They, <laughs> Um, basically, it's a backstory, but I'm not getting that either. But basically, we went to Sonic, the girl he claimed that was stopped calling, so I told him to stop calling her. He was fucking the lady that brought out your food? No, man. Oh, At Sonic? Yeah, that would make come, me feel, have rollerblades? That would make me feel worse. I was tripped her. Don't they come out with the rollerblades? Yeah, I would trip the shit out of her if it was a girl from Sonic. But yeah. Nah, um, so you know how, like, the phone, like, call from such and such, and it says the name? Oh, it's, it ain't say Pizza Hut. Nah, it said the name. Yeah. And I was like, I thought she stopped calling you. Mind you, I kept it sip really calm and saw the um Sonic. Damn, he didn't even change it to Domino's nah, or nothing. You should have saw his face. <laughs> he looked he looked scared. He should have saw my face. So his face. I was like, you know, I'm not even gonna say that. I paid for the food. We went you out. You paid for the food. Listen, I was I wasn't trying to make you, it. Ate, you ate both meals. I sure did. Okay, good. good the slushy good, good. didn't make it home. The slushy didn't make it home though, because I threw it at him. Yeah, shout out to Sonic. Them slushies be the slushy. I threw it at him and I left them at Sonic. Them slushies do be good. Nah, so I had to leave them there. Good. Find oh, wait, way. you drove. Yeah, fine. Oh, find, yeah. Find, that's what I was like. I ain't got to yell. I don't have to yell. Come on, Michaela. We don't have to yell. City girls up 10,000. <laughs> don't have to yell. I was like, babe. Now nah, I was like, I thought she stopped calling you. City I'm girls like, up I'm like, 10, once, you get, once I'm calm and start laughing, we should be scared. Yeah. Because I don't know. We, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's about to happen. I don't, to like, to, I don't like to yell. That's very Yelling true. is nothing. But when I start when I start laughing, I'm like, you better be <laughs> it's like you better, you better watch, you better your, watch, back, you watch your back. <laughs> and he had to wash his whole body because he got a slushy on him and he had to walk home. Damn, yeah, so you threw one slushy and drank the other one. I swear oh, okay. Yeah, keep, my, keep, I was like, slushy. keep your slushy. Exactly. I like the cherry lime one. And I kept, I don't know what flavor I had. I know his was blue. Mm. Oh damn man, he had blue on him? Yikes. Fun. Good for him. Yeah, I was like, yeah. I'm like, I thought you City said City girls up 10,000. Good times. I was off the shits when I was a kid. Like, I was like 20, early 20s. I'm like I was very, very. I was a kid. But 20s. Very yeah. unhinged because I, I didn't give a fuck. You was walking home. And he was, in a, he was in a hood, too. Mm. Oh, well, you be all right. You be all right. And I was back with no Uber. Was it Uber? I don't nah, think so. it was no Uber. I don't think so. Nah. I don't think so. Nah, I don't know. He ain't had it. Damn, oh, man. man's had to walk back no Uber. Well, yikes. 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 Should have never did that. Just don't be lying. Cause I'm like, the truth always reveals itself. That's what I be saying. Just like, I that's like, why I don't go through phones. I don't believe in doing I that. I just think you should just respect the person. It's going to come with. out eventually. I don't like do. I'm not going through your phone. I don't have time. I don't care. Just respect that person enough. Like, I don't just don't. I would rather you just fucking leave. Respect. Don't be sitting here cheating. Right. Because y'all be trying to come at the women if they don't do what y'all want them to do. Right. So I don't get it. Like, you just got to respect that lady. We'll respect each other. That's Anyways. All. Pink sauce. Um, Oh god, <laughs> the pink sauce! Why are y'all buying shit off fucking? Why are y'all buying stuff off TikTok that's not preserved correctly? Yo, first of all, like, if it don't even look good, this the crazy thing is that like the pink sauce is not even the first thing these motherfuckers is buying off of TikTok. What is that? That the that spicy bowl, bowls? That's spicy bowls. You try seafood? You shipping not seafood? Even, no, these is not even. It's no, sausage? they are shipping seafood, but the, the spicy bowls is not even seafood. It's Pickled eggs. Nigga, you gonna die. Are you kidding me? Pickled <laughs> sausage. And I think some of them got like pickled pig ears or some shit. Are you gonna, are you trying to kill yourself? 
They are. are. What is wrong with you? And they come with like a bag of ruffles. Chips. Right. Like, are you dead ass? To eat it. What's now, together? it's a delicacy. It's a snack. It's a delicacy in like Florida. I thought it was a Nola. I think they make them here too. But this one girl on tick on that's on TikTok that makes the most of them. She's from Florida. Florida it's a thing there. in Florida they too. Are different. Um, but what I don't understand is how many people and the like the age range of people that's buying because it. <laughs> it's not like it's just a bunch of like 19 year olds buying this right, stuff like on. y'all choose to eat like these food. are it's 30 year old people y'all buying this shit. Us, do y'all not know how food is preserved why would you it's hot as fuck outside you how are you shipping this type of food and you open a box and it don't stink the the first of all they've been opening the boxes there's no mold of, there's no nothing these girls is sending this shit via usps that's number one <laughs> Wait, I thought you can't ship liquids on top of that too. They are, are they sending out this food via US, the United you, States Postal Service. They're not service. checking that? No, you're not checking that. That's number one. They're sending you pickled food in a via the United States Postal Service. Two, them shit you, it's the it's the post office. No that bubble shit wrap. It's taking a it's you, taking you not getting it for two weeks. weeks. And you going to open that package and eat it? Right. First of all, they didn't even protect it. So I saw like some of the bottles like opened and stuff like that. Why are you Some of the bottles it? burst it open because the shit don't, it, it was not preserved right. Right. That There's lady, no ice packs around it. Like, you know those like portable ice packs? No ice pack. It. Like, I ordered HelloFresh a few times. Your HelloFresh food come in a box with ice packs, multiple ice packs at that. Like literal, mo- like two or three ice packs. Everything is still frozen. They send it. They don't be sh- taking twenty years to ship it. They ship your package supposed to get there on Saturday. I think they ship that shit out on a Thursday or a Friday, and that shit get to you next day. Like y'all are not thinking, y'all and not I'm either. scared for y'all because some of y'all are too fucking old yeah, to not be thinking. More than food poisoning. <laughs> it's like that's wild. The lady, first of all, the and caption don't even say. Like all of the things on the back is not even Don't right. Even, yeah, like her the serving like size the nutrition factor is yeah. servants. Per she using angel numbers and shit. That don't make no goddamn sense. Miss, this is real food. You can't use and then angel you, numbers. You see, they <laughs> spell vinegar. She put vinegar. Please, <laughs> please. Like, child, oh my y'all God. are gonna perish. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are y'all doing this to yourself? I eat and per- the, that's, it don't even look good. Thank you. And I think it one of the like craziest fuck, parts somebody is... Somebody said look like Cubby Custard. And I can't custard. I can't breathe. <laughs> it's given to Tubby Custard. I'm yelling. <laughs> Yo, and this the, the worst part oh to God. me is like the girls be making the shit on their TikTok and showing y'all. And y'all like, oh, instead of me going to the store and buying it, I'm going to pay... Twenty dollars plus shipping and handling to have them ship it to me, and they in Florida. That's nasty. And I live in, and all those Maine. flavors don't even go together. Dragon fruit. This lady is mixing dragon fruit and chili powder. What, what are, you, are you doing? Are you doing a? De- you know, weird ass detoxes people used to use. Do what, what are we giving? doing? That looks na- just the dragon fruit is for color. And that's all it is. It's for the color. Dragon fruit. I think it got dragon fruit, chili powder, honey, mayo. <laughs> like it's just mad I saw a white girl trying to make it. She used milk. I yelled. <laughs> <laughs> like it's just nasty. It just don't make sense to me. Like, like I want y'all you, to do better. How you shipping dairy? Thank you. You can't ship dairy. You can't even leave fucking potato salad out without dying. Yo, for real. The potato salad got to sit on ice. Yes. Leave, or you leave it inside. You leave the potato salad inside. Exactly. Yeah, the potato like, salad don't even sit outside. outside you it can't have to stay inside right. in the fridge. All the salads stay inside. That's wild. I'm going to pray for this country. Because y'all are really <laughs> scaring me. Like, I'm going to pray was for the country. Was me. It was like, y'all are really scaring me because y'all are old. Right. Y'all it's not, not like it's a Y'all bunch can't of be that... Like, remember when the kids was eating Tide Pods? Yeah. And it was like, I understand y'all the stupid, kids, right. but y'all kids. Right. I was so, like, like I you see. were easily able to persuade a kid to eat that yeah, shit. Yeah, I'm like. These are grown mother. This is your coworker I really, ordering this. I really blame No Child Get Left Behind because some of y'all should got left the fuck behind because that's crazy. Because <laughs> what the fuck are y'all doing? Why are y'all that dumb? You are 35 <laughs> eating pink tubby custard. 
pink so I don't understand it. It's giving be. Ivan ooze. You remember that slime shit? Remember that? Why are you doing that? <laughs> remember that? That's um, nasty. That colorful ketchup that hurts me. I thought that was disgusting. My mom never let me get it. My mother said, you want to try? I was like, sure. I was Mama like, that's nasty. Disgusting. I really wish some of y'all would have got left behind because that shouldn't make no fucking sense. My mother didn't buy it. It don't she make sense. She wouldn't buy it. We would go to the supermarket order, and I'd be like, can I get the can I get the purple ketchup? No. I remember my mother put it on my sausage, egg, and cheese. I'm like, this is nasty. Take this shit off. Why it, isn't it red? It tastes like ketchup? It tastes, it's just weird because it's oh. purple. I never got to try it. I didn't know if it tasted like ketchup or if it was. It's just weird. It shouldn't have happened. Oh. It shouldn't have happened. They really was, we was test dummies for real. We were a lot of. Our generation, some of we us, was real like Some of dummies. us should have got left behind because ain't no fucking way we this old and still buying that shit. We was real like test dummies because they made a lot of dumb ass shit and just gave it to us. Green ketchup. Like you remember ketchup. when Lunchables had burgers and hot dogs? Why the <laughs> fuck did, was that a thing? I ate them too. <laughs> My parents used to buy the pizza used to hit though. The that only pizza, lunch pizza my mom would give me was the pizzas or the crackers. The pizza was really oh, and good. the nachos, the nachos. But the nachos mm-hmm. wasn't really filling. It was nah, just nah. It's like a snack, little ass chips. You used yeah. to be mad as hell after lunch. I'm like, I'm still hungry. Yeah, but like we, they really, we was test dummy. I definitely these had the burgers kids, and hot dogs before. And I was like, it's so new nasty. Kids and got cold. all kind of good shit. Like they right. happy meal come with apple slices, right. bitch. Like yes. our happy meals was like. Mad you want fries. a large a soda, soda and a right. fucking uh, super size fry? Like, we have Fruitopia. Yeah, like these kids, right? <laughs> we have the, the machine had Fruitopia and Powerade, and <laughs> right. these kids got like fucking milk, and organic apple juice. milk and apple juice. Like, I do be asking for apple slices so fast though. <laughs> well, like you know, Wendy's doing like them. They used to do oranges. I don't know they do that no more. <laughs> <laughs> some apple slices. I want a bunch of salt. No, they, we was real life test dummies. And they're I, trying to I'm, kill us. They're trying to kill they us. They really tried to kill us. For like, real. What were we eating? Like, think about all of the dumb shit we had. Like, it was a lot of weird shit. It was a lot of weird fucking juices, sodas. Like, remember the blue Pepsi? Like, they really oh, wanted yeah. to take us the fuck out. First of all, Mountain Dew was even around. They tried to kill us with that. Mountain yeah. Dew was disgusting. And that's all KFC used to give us is Mountain and Dew. And they had that cold red one. Right. They really tried to take they tried us to out. Make the our cold red, I ain't even gonna lie, the cold red was type busting they, up. They tried to make our teeth fall out. I feel it. That's why. The cold red Mountain Dew, I ain't even gonna hold you. That one was, uh, it was, was like, good. Right. That was good. It was good. It was good. I was like, I That blue Pepsi was kind of cute. The blue Pepsi, it was just blue. It was just, it was kind of cute. It was cute. It was a vibe. It was, it was a vibe. It was, it was like to put it in your cup. It was yeah, like, oh, it was blue. They really tried to kill us, y'all. They really tried to. I don't know <laughs> they what They tried to kill us. I see why we unhinged now. It's that's like why we not us. right. That's why we not are right. not okay. That's why some of us got missing teeth and shit like that. Because they really tried to take us the fuck out. Mad sugar. I don't know. Nah, the fact that Lunchables really had burgers and hot dogs sitting in the section. And I had it, too. I definitely <laughs> ate that shit, too. My mother, sitting in the... <laughs> but I used to put that in the microwave. <laughs> I put that in the microwave. Yo, you know you're supposed to, you're supposed to heat up the pizza? Wait. No, are we not? What you supposed to heat up the pizza? How are you gonna do that at school? You, I don't know how you supposed to do that at school, but it's on the box. You can heat the pizza. <laughs> do they still make those? And the cheese supposed to melt and all of that. What? That would make a big difference in my life. Cause think about it. That shit, like, it was my good, stomach used to be on but it dubs. was pasty as fuck. Yes, my stomach, <laughs> and it had like a weird aftertaste. Yeah. It tastes like chalk. Like it's some yeah. weird after pasty. It's just. You remember how Capri Suns used to really taste like Capri Suns? It tastes yeah, good. Yeah, no, Capri Suns is not good no And more. now it tastes healthy? Yeah, they, 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 they Like, all you taste is like apple juice. The juice, juice is weird. healthy. Yeah, yeah like, what it's happened like to the corn juice? like they got rid of the sugar. Like, it's like, it's you know, like, like, like if you drink a diet soda and you get that sugar that's I don't drink taste. diet soda, that's nasty. Well, I don't be drinking it on purpose, yeah. but like, I feel like we all like tasting it. Yeah, diet it tastes soda. like, it tastes like a and weird aftertaste. That, that, yeah. Yeah. Or like I'm you like, drink a crystal light. I definitely took one of my, um, like cousins, I'm um, thingies. I'm like, this don't taste, what the yeah, fuck no, is this? Yeah, no, don't hit like it used to. You remember those little chubby sodas? Yes. They still make those. I, really? In the hood. Yeah. I can't drink those no more though. They my still face, make those in the hood. My face will be in shambles. I, I haven't had one, but they still make them. I know. I, I went to, into the hood supermarket and they got a I used to drink CNC, so it was like it was water. Oh, not the CNC. Woo. Yeah, they was really trying the to kill us. The cotton candy ones. Oh man, <laughs> man, you had tro- you was drinking tropical fantasy. Too? Yeah. Oh, Michaela. but when I moved to Jersey, they didn't have that. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have that. Michaela, I can't drink soda no more because of that shit. I don't. I refuse to drink soda anymore. See, I was I was picking up a sprite or something like. Boy, not that Sprite they, was any better, but it was like it had wasn't. At the little corner stores. Mm. And that's only what's twenty. Yo, you remember that, the sparkling Mystic? Yeah, that used to. That was a mystic. Don't even taste the same no more either. I haven't had a mystic in years. It I don't. wouldn't even know what the fuck that tastes like. Snapple don't taste the same no more. That strawberry keep one nasty now. It don't taste the same. Yeah, Snapple. They they took out some of the sugar. 
Put it back. <laughs> Put it back. Put it back. <laughs> this shit, that. T- when Kayla said, please, just, just give me the, the sh- diabetes. At least in the strawberry kiwi one, because that shit tastes nasty. Sister, so, so just give me the diabetes. Put it back. It's all right. I'll take now the I'm drinking. I'm drinking the tea ones now, because that's the only thing that tastes good. Yeah, the tea one tastes regular. I like the raspberry peach. That yes. one is good. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's they right. have this new flavor, too. It's like... The air joints, yeah, the elements, yeah. I get. The I'm air like, all right, yeah, yeah. I want to be earth, wind, and fire and shit. I got, I get the air one because I'm an air sign. <laughs> you know what, Michaela? <laughs> enough is enough. All <laughs> right, let's get to the funny looking man. So again, here we are, back to back to men not doing us right, y'all. <laughs> the audacity. This, this funny looking man had the audacity to write this caption. He like he's still going through puberty. Write this caption about his wife. He says, "You're not the most beautiful woman." Neither are you the most intelligent woman, but like I've chosen to never find perfection in anyone else. I put my gaze on you. Stop and reading with it like that. that. Commitment, <laughs> we would mold ourselves for ourselves. Our, our perfection, perfection is, is in, in our, our commitment. commitment. Go to hell. I slap the shit Go out to of hell. That. I don't even want to read this. Stating that you're not the most beautiful slash intelligent might sound like like it's not a compliment. Because yeah. it's fucking not. But it's a realistic base for real love. Go to hell. There's a special place for you in your brunch hat. Hell. He got you Chelsea don't, boots. He probably got Chelsea boots on in the picture too. I feel like he does. Have it's to. giving. It's giving. Because I, I see the collar shirt with that pocket. It's Devin giving it. Have to. And he has his ankles out. Mm. With them hot, with them funny pants. Some nasty ass socks. I and ankles, match. Uh, his ankles ashy or did he lotion up? He no. Sock. He got socks. Because if he talk like this, he don't lotion. <laughs> he probably don't. He's giving ashy. Because he got too much time on his yeah. hands. And knowledge is that my woman isn't the best, but I'm looking, I'm not looking for the best. What? I was looking for you and I found you. There's no best. There's just someone you choose and see the best in them. I would have to this slap is the to, shit out I would like man. through, they're married. This is to me is the real love, not the one that consoles itself in the full reality that their partner is the most good looking. Just say you ugly and call it a day. Why are you calling her ugly given, for? It? It's given you don't you, have no confidence right, in yourself. Right, most intelligent, most successful person in the world. That's a disingenuous and doesn't give room for love to thrive. Nigga, you ugly. <laughs> you ugly. Like, first of all, this man don't even have a, a good line. Like, for real, your facial hair, I don't know where, where that's at. He still got mad. He still got his baby. Bumps. He still got his baby teeth. Right. He still got mad acne crater bumps on his face. I'm the, is she you real? a life coach with a right. verified check? You should be able to is afford a real? dermatologist. He need to go. He need to fucking first of all go to the barber. Like I just don't understand why y'all. Why do y'all? y'all why do y'all, y'all love embarrassing women? What do you? What do you get out of that? Right. Like. And you posted it on Facebook of all places. So you, <laughs> you know, know it's going to blow up. You know it's going to go up. Like, Facebook is the worst place. Oh, they got more about him. Wait, hold on. There's nothing wrong with saying other woman is finer than your babe. So, and he's like, his name is Solomon, by the way. So he, you know, y'all know he, he think he of uh he think he Jesus. Yeah, he think he, he is think he one hates, of the he, one, he think a man he, of the cloth. He think he hates Seuss. I ain't got time for that nigga. Right. He what said, he said? He said, when I'm dating a woman, she's the most beautiful woman to me. Even though they are more beautiful women, but no woman can be beautiful like she is to me. Getting to know her on an intimate level and sharing our lives is something that is much more beautiful than beauty. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Yeah, that's special place to hell. Like imagine like. How do you think she feel reading that? I would have broke up with him immediately. Expeditiously. All of that. Because that's wild. Why would you say that? Explain to me why you felt comfortable enough to say that about your girlfriend, fiance, wife, whatever she is to you. Like, why do you feel that way? And then they got captions of other men saying similar things about their woman. It's like, bro. I will literally cry. Yeah, like that's the end of the relationship right there. I'm not talking to you ever again. There's nothing to say. There's nothing to say. It's nothing. We don't have nothing to talk about at this point. Me and you, done. Finito. Right, you and that brunch hat could burn. You and that brunch hat could burn. Yes. No more brunch hats. Put brunch hats down. Please. It's hot outside. I've, I've I heard on um, what's them called again? Brunch Twitter had New York Twitter in shambles. Oh yes, 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 yes. I Let's forgot to add that. Let we can do that tap real into quick. That real quick. I have no parts. I can't speak on this. I live in New Jersey. Brunch Twitter had <laughs> New Jersey. Okay, so <laughs> there was this one tweet. 
where this this let woman t- let me because I I have retweeted I have retweeted it. There was this one tweet where this girl Ooh, was like, I'm stuck. I oh. miss like the old like New York. Like she was saying like a whole bunch I'm of stuck. stuff. She like <laughs> I'm stuck. I've got stuck. I forgot. You all right? <laughs> I got stuck. Sorry. You t- Wait. Huh? Now nah, my cord got stuck to the mic. I was trying to get oh, my water. I got stuck. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ignore me, please. Oh. So Shorty says something along the lines of like, oh, when I miss like certain aspects of New York, like she was naming shit that was like. Read the tweet. Read I'm, the t- I'm trying to find the tweet. Sk- <laughs> I got a front that seat was because funny. she she was wilding. Oh, like, I'm stuck again. Oh, shit. oh my right. God. Is everything all right? Okay? <laughs> no. <laughs> you sure? No. <laughs> you sure? No. Because sis was. Hold on. Let me. I no, because like I was trying to drink my water because I can't put the water because we're not sponsored by the water. So I have to dip down <laughs> and, and drink it. I can't it. put the water because we're not sponsored. Yeah. So me. I got to dip down and get it. And then my cord got stuck to the mic. I don't know if she deleted <laughs> the tweet. Let me see. I'm going to find it. I don't tweet that much no more. I'm gonna find it because that was I crazy. retweeted something else. It wasn't. I don't just think I retweeted that. I felt tweet. Yeah, I. I know the lady who tweet. did it too. Yes, yeah, my friend knows her too. My friend was like, "Oh, damn, that's a damn girl." That's one of my homegirls. I was like, mm, "She sized herself up for saying <laughs> with that one." <laughs> they came at her neck. Yeah, she sized herself up with that one though. Mm-mm-mm. Because she was basically saying shit like, "Oh, I miss like when Sylvia was in the kitchen." Girl, Sylvia has not been in that was not in that kitchen for thirty years. Stop. <laughs> That's like was she ever in the kitchen? Stop. Her collard green salty. By the Sylvia way. had not. Very and, and, salty. And, and, and that's another thing. Like, no disrespect. Rest in peace. You know, but like, real niggas don't be eating Sylvia's. Yeah. That's a tourist spot. I never only went there like once or twice. That's an OD tourist spot. Shorty, like, I miss when Sylvia was in the kitchen. Girl, you was not, you had not moved to New York when Sylvia was in the kitchen because that lady ain't been in the kitchen for like 30 plus years prior to her death. So stop. <laughs> like, relax. I know the the tweet took place on um, June 19th, July 19th. I just can't find it. And then, um, <laughs> you this, was the, this was what, this was the one tweet that went crazy. The HBCU to ruin the New York City culture pipeline is a serious issue. So, like, people was really tight about that. And I'm like, yo, honestly, y'all really, a lot of y'all really did ruin the vibe of New York. Like, y'all came here from, because I'm a native New Yorker and an HBCU grad. Man, I got I watched that swag. Y'all do That's that. all I hear is swag. So I literally swag watched y'all do it. Right. We did swag not surf. swag surf at home like that. Like, we didn't go to parties and swag surf came on. Now you can't go to not one single party in New York if it's not a designated, like, New York party thrown by New Yorkers. And you not going to hit swag surf. Like, we didn't play that type of shit. Y'all came here and changed the whole vibe from DJ. Like, you moved to New York and started DJing like you were still back where you was at. Y'all didn't learn nothing about New York music. Y'all didn't learn nothing about New York parties. The vibe. Like, niggas was going to parties in Brooklyn and not and not hearing Wayne Wonder. And that was the only dance hall you heard the all night. were giving New Jersey parties. I'm sorry. Like, what was y'all I'm doing? I'm just saying, I'm sorry. It was giving that, minus the club music. Like, <laughs> y'all, <laughs> y'all turned New York into something y'all wanted it to be and then got mad when New Yorkers speak on it. Like, it just doesn't make sense. Like... I even tweeted, all this HBCU grad and New York City beef started when Shorty said she misses when Sylvia was in the kitchen. And Sylvia had not been in the kitchen for 30 years. So like, you trying to make a viral tweet and you're going to get called out on it by people who know the difference. Like, I'm mad they came at sis like that, though, so she can't DJ. That's fucked up. Who said that? A lot of people. They said that? Yes. You know who sis I'm talking about. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, yeah, because she mentioned that. She mentioned she those mentioned, parties. She mentioned. She's like, I miss those parties and blah, blah. It's like, girl. <laughs> hmm. I'm and not. Then, hey, but some. Nah, it was one dude that was like, hey, <laughs> them parties wasn't never really for us anyway. I had a time at those parties, which I talk about. But I didn't say that. I was in the reggae room. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog. <laughs> Yo, yeah, well, Michaela. I was in the reggae room. Michaela. I was not in that room. I already knew. Michaela. I came from New Jersey to hear tunes. I did not come to Jer- to New York to hear that shit. <laughs> I went to the reggae room. But I mean, I'm it's really a very, It's a very specific. <laughs> oh my god! It's a very specific group Ooh. of people because not like some of my friends moved to New York I'm after crying. after college graduation, but they also <laughs> befriended mad New Yorkers. So like, they don't 
walk around with like this I am New York type of attitude. Some of y'all walk around like that. Listen. And like y'all, some of y'all, just because y'all are black, some of y'all are the reason why people's rent in the neighborhoods you living in now also went up because y'all came in to people's neighborhoods with these jobs, even though you black, you still started gentrification. So like, let's not like act like it's not, it's just the palm color people. Yeah, I took a part in that shit too because I live in New Jersey. Yeah, I came <laughs> in and, and, I stay in New Jersey. and revamped the whole vibe of people's neighborhoods. Like, so don't just blame it on the clears. Like, they have done more wrong, but a lot of HBCU grads that be moving to different cities that they are not from, you're not lying. Also, change the vibe of how that place once was. I live in New Jersey. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so I, I didn't I understand came, why people got I came so upset to, New York by to the listen tweet. to the music I wanted to hear. I didn't hear all that music all the time, so I went to certain rooms. If that makes sense. <laughs> I don't different understand parties. why people got so mad about that tweet. I was like, maybe you are the person that we're speaking of, but like, I, I because I, people, because mad people kept saying like, oh, but New York, like mad people move to to and from New York, but like New York always had like a vibe about it. Like we always had our own culture, like that was exclusive. Do you feel to, like all the lines are blurred now because everybody moved there, and then you have the internet to add to that? Too? Yeah, I feel like the lines are very blurred now. Cause like, like you, I don't know what a New York party is anymore. I'm not even trying to be funny. No, cause you don't know. I don't. There is no like. It's not like cause you hear. I don't know how to describe. Like you don't. It depends on. What, it depends on what party who's DJing. Like I only go to specific parties for specific DJs now. Yeah, I can. I'm not that. really going to like. That's funny. That tweet was funny. Because people was getting Stop coming feelings. at that lady People was getting <laughs> in their feelings They like oh but y'all moving to Atlanta and, and LA Okay But, we but not. niggas do not be walking around like I am LA I am Y'all be walking around like you created the vibe of New York All y'all did was f- start to frequent these new bars And, and play Lil Baby and shit all night <laughs> That's all y'all did Next <laughs> Like that shit, it was very interesting on Every, my timeline. That shit was, I was just watching. I said, ooh, I'm going to stay in Switzerland. He <laughs> said, I'm going to stay in Switzerland. Oh, Somebody mama. said it's definitely Harlem's fault for letting all the bourgeoisie niggas begin a brunch boot shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> I did see a lot of brunch boots at that time, though. Niggas said, I blame Angel and Harlem for the post-2016 wave and Corner Social and Red Rooster. <laughs> I'm crying. <laughs> I like me a little Angel and Harlem brunch and go. Niggas said, thank I you, we don't swag thing. surf. Exactly. What is that other brunch spot in Brooklyn that got shut down by the whites? Woodland? Yes. Oh, yeah. Woodland yes. was a time. I had a time. We, I've had a many time. t- times. I had many times at Woodland. A time. I had time. One of my friends really, really died at Woodland, like OD. The way, Not like really no, I know, but, you know but I mean. the way I had to get the fuck back home, I don't understand how I got home at that time. Yeah, the, I niggas used to get carried out. This really wasn't the like we New York was New York, like you know. One of my friends the other night we was talking, and one of my friends was like, "Yo, if it wasn't for you, she was like, if it wasn't for me, she probably wouldn't have never spoke to no New Yorkers at Howard because." She was like, the way that New York is at Howard, like, we rolled deep. And she mm. was like, y'all niggas is not inviting. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, so, like, she was saying, like, I was one of the only people that, like, would, like, like, like say, like, oh, yo, that's my homie. Like, what's up? Mm. Blah, blah, blah. And she was like, but, like, for a long time, she was like, I would never want to come over to, like, the circle and say what's good with you. She was like, because all the rest of y'all niggas would just look at me like, who the fuck is this? And I never realized that, like, other people, that's not normal for them. Like, to walk into crowds and people don't speak, like, that's <laughs> not normal for niggas. Like, that's normal at home because if you niggas don't know you, they're not, they're not they're just not going to say nothing. I don't, like, I don't say you know how many times, like, I be with my friends and they link another, like, and somebody come and that's a friend of the, the, theirs and, like, it was just very normal to not say much or anything. Like, you might say, like, once people introduce you, like, oh, hey, how are you? Yeah. And, and then that's, that's it. Like, yeah. you just keep it pushing. Like, that's not your man's. Like, but... Mm. So I'm glad I was able to break the barrier Look and make you. friends outside of. Cause now nah, I fuck with. I really do fuck with all my people who's from like school that's not from New York. Cause like they taught me a whole bunch of shit. Yeah, it's good to know other things besides New York. There ain't nothing yeah. wrong with that. Like not like I've I never went anywhere before I got to school. Like nah, I know things, know, but like yeah. you know what I mean. Like yeah, and, I'm like I learned so much from my friends that are not of the same. You know, I guess like you know, like from the same place. So mm-hmm. like. 
I'm like, nah, I'm glad. But I wasn't raised like that. Like, I guess I was raised a little different. Like, I always had to speak to people when I walked into a room. Like, yeah, it wasn't. That was just crazy. But, like, when I was with my friends and niggas linked other people, I did not speak. Because I'm like, I don't know this lady. I don't know this nigga. I don't know this girl. Like, you know what it was? It was kind of, like, staticky almost. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, you just be, like, play cool because you don't know this person. So, I don't know. But, yeah, I just want y'all to leave. Uh, well, at some point, y'all going to leave New York. I can't wait for something about these is a marrow, but it's okay. Oh, yo, the brand is no longer strong. I don't know. Well, nah, I heard they I heard they said it was uh, the manager. They right? said it was Victor for. But I feel like I would like to hear a little bit more about that because I just don't understand how that one person, how that one person that could one affect thing. the whole thing. Like, like, come on, Mero. Like, if that nigga is yelling at people and the people that you're working with that's bringing you the bag don't feel comfortable, just leave that nigga at home for that. Like. You don't have to necessarily get rid of him forever, but leave that nigga home for that shit. Like, M- Meryl got four kids he got to feed. Like, my nigga, <laughs> like, yo, the podcast done, the show done. Like, you got and you four got kids the, you to got feed. the rest of the staff, too. So like, Yeah, like, like, the rest of the staff. It was one one staff member who tweeted, like, I don't she want, I don't want y'all to, I don't want to hear no more about these. Like, I don't want y'all to ask me what's going on. He like, I'm out of a job, my nigga, like. Don't oh, ask, that you saw that yeah, tweet, right? Yeah. It's like, don't ask me what's going on no more. Like, I'm literally out of a fucking job right now. Like, y'all asking me because y'all want to spill tea and ha ha ha. You're like, bro, that's I not don't funny. have a fucking job yeah. right now. Like, and that shit is not funny. But I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like I don't, I don't want to say the blogs is lying, but I feel like it got to be a little something more to it. You think so? it's not? It, they is that's really it? Literally just over Victor. Wow, what's the loyalty? What Mero did that Victor, Victor, Victor keeping secrets on? It gotta be something, but I mean, like at to what fuck point, up business yeah, though, like what, that. Loyalty over money is wicked. Like, like I said, like you don't have to get rid of him forever, but he can't show up to Showtime no more. If he yelling at what was that lady who used to, they, Julia? He's yeah. probably yelling at Julia. <laughs> Julia is an innocent boss, and, Ju- and Julia be working hard. Julia be sitting there answering all the questions and and looking up shit while they thinking. He was probably yelling at poor Julia. She ain't deserve that. Mm-mm-mm. I don't know. I like the <laughs> Jesus and Mero show, and I'm kind of sad. But they said Jesus about to do uh, some episodes of Jimmy Kimmel, so shout out to Jesus. That's cool. Jamaican man always fit fine job. Always. Always fine job. Let's go to these sneakers, girl. I'm not All right. Shit. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> a lot has happened. I did I lie to a lot. No, you're not lying. That man got a job ASAP. <laughs> okay, you know you're not playing. One thing niggas gonna do is find a job. Right, always find a job. All right, I'm so yelling. what's these? Oh, these those desert those, elephants. No, thank you. The elephant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? I, oh, cause you said no, thank you. Elephant. <laughs> the desert elephant. What um. It's kind of like a. It's like a. It's a, like a cement three, but with, with a, no with tan. Yeah, brown. With brown, um... How's is an elephant? Okay. The box is cute, though. The box got safari got animals on it and it. stuff. Mm-hmm. It got a little orange in its in a, uh, in a tune. What I'm trying... Is that... That look like a hippo. What? Right here. It's like a hippo. What hippo? I know it's it, an elephant. It looked it. like... It, g- it gave hippo. Let me see. No, that's an elephant. I see it now. I had to tilt my head a little bit more. Elephant times... Jump man equals man standing with basketball. I don't. What does that mean? I don't know. They lost. I don't know what that means. I'm I lost. I should have asked. What you, you that mean? Please ask them that because I'm very. Asked. I'm generally confused. What do that mean? But the box. Is, I was like, <laughs> oh, the box is cute. It, does that mean him strong man? Because elephants are strong. Maybe. Or maybe like wise man because they say elephants got maybe. good memory. That's maybe. You better maybe. than me. I, don't I know. thought strong because you need to be strong to play basketball, but you also need to be wise to play basketball too. So maybe that's gotta have good IQ. Yeah, well, you gotta is be trash. smart. You gotta be smart. You need to pass that ball. Um, yeah, but the I mean, in hand, the leather quality was really nice. So I can't get, you know, it's not like they gave you bum leather if you like it. It looks, I like, I wish the brown was on, the, just the brown was just on the shoe. Like, they could have done differently, but yeah, I the just, the black, it's just nice. the black is just throwing me off. For those who would go after it, the leather quality is valid. I, I will let you have The that. leather does look nice, though. It was very, I feel like they should have added, nice they should have leather. They should have added more brown somewhere else. I just don't know where yet. You just don't like the placement of the brown. Yeah, I, yeah. Could, I could get that. But um, July 30th. It would have been cool if the whole thing was brown. July 30th. That's this Saturday. You know, so get it right. Get it right. Get it right. Okay. Um, I'll, 
Sorry. That's my song. <laughs> um, then on the 27th, we've got the Ooh, Nike is, Dunk Low Green Snake Skin. What but is this, honey? On the app, they call them Wash Teal. On the sneakers app, they call them Wash Teal. So I don't know which name is the correct one, but. These are cute for kids. These are, I, and yo, I was, yo, you took the words right out of my mouth. These I'm like, cute for the these girls. Is cute for, these is cute for the girls. These is real cute for the girls. Like, my goddaughter foot is not this big, so. Neither one of them. They feed They're making a big. low biohack? Yeah, they feed is not this big, so I can't even help them out. But these would be really mm. cute for the girls. But Amber Foot is not a women's size, and Tatum Foot, damn sure, ain't women's size. She only two, so. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> make. Otherwise, it's an okay shoe. I would, I would cop it for the kids, but they don't fit it yet. Candace Parker, Miss Parker, Miss Parker, when you gonna let me? Miss Parker. Okay. Anyway. Um, she got a new collection. <laughs> she got a new collection, collection part two of the Adidas Exhibit B signature collection. Shout out to you know Adidas for giving my sis something because looks how cute. how long did my sis have to be signed and how long did my sis she damn near at retirement and y'all finally like okay yeah let's give Candace some things girl my god the lady damn near about to retire like I feel like she got one more year and who knows Candace could pull some shit at the end of this season and be like all right I'm out <laughs> I feel like. No funny shit. I feel like if the Chicago Sky win back to back, Candace gonna be out. I would leave too, and I'm leaving on a hot note. I'm gonna be sad, low key. I think mm. they got one more game. I don't know if they playing in New York or if we just playing them and we playing. I'm, I'm like, if they got one more game in Chicago in New York, I gotta make it to that game because the game they played on Saturday was in New York, but I was at the party so I couldn't go. Mm. But um, yeah, shout out to Candace. The collection is cute though. Like they be giving, they got my sister. She got clothes and everything, so. Shout out to Kansas. The purple jacket is cute. You know I'm a apparel girl. Right. I'm like the purple the purple outfit is cute. I like the little sweatsuit. Mm-hmm. Right? I love I like a matching set. Yes, the nice old matching set. Okay. And I think most of our stuff say Ace. You know, because that's our nickname. So shout out to shout out to CP3. The only CP3 with rings. Ooh. Child, come on. Ooh. 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 I mean, you're not lying. I didn't lie. Ooh. <laughs> I wasn't being rude. She's, I mean, you know. She's shaking the tables. Chris Paul is, a, Chris the, Paul is a legend. Not Point you, God, but. Not you shaking the tables. My CP3 got, a, got okay, two okay, rings. Okay, K, so. Stop shaking the tables. <laughs> this sh- bitch done shaking the, the tables. tables. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. I love saying that. They got to bring that. They got to bring They got to play that season. No, they, they, they do. If you have, what's that? Station. Oh my God! I, Pluto what? TV. Pluto. Oh yes. Pluto, Pluto TV. TV that should be on repeat. They do be. Playing. And I be watching the shit out of no, it too. Because that lady, that lady is funny. Shout out to her for making VSOP. That's my fucking song. Right. I'll be singing the. Fuck it was out supposed. Of that. I learned the other day. You saw that tweet. It was, supposed, it was, to it was money, supposed to be money yeah. long song. That's money just shit. Song. good thing money it wasn't. Long song. No. We gonna light some candles to tonight. She she put some bass in her voice when yeah. she said that she really was feeling that honey. Yeah. She felt I mean, it. it's K Michelle. I, yeah, I know. I know. She you felt know that. That, lady, that dance that she was that doing. That lady from Tennessee, she was drinking whiskey and honey. Mm-hmm. She was not playing with that song. She was not playing. She felt that Because remember, she had a Jack Daniels partnership for right, a minute. Because right, she yeah. was really out here drinking. Very special. Yes. <laughs> we gonna light some candles tonight. I was like, all right, Kay. Damn. She right. was like, loud. That lady really was yelling at us in that video. Right. She said, you going to drink this fucking drink. She, right. She was, you going <laughs> to drink, gonna drink this, this fucking sir. shit. Um, on the wave, Bodega is uh, doing a collab with uh, Salomon. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> These are cute. You I know, like them. You got to ride the wave. Everybody's really into them now. I, I like want, them. I've been wanting to pair, but I just haven't found the color for me yet. Yeah, I haven't found the right colorway, but I like this These shoe. These are cute. And I heard they're very comfortable. You, yeah, I know how I feel about comfort. I right. mean, my feet be tired. Scream. Um, my feet scream. Yeah, th- th- actually, don't mind it, but they could pair. I just don't want a black pair. I would actually. I, I want wanna, colors. Yeah, I want a pair with more colors, but I like the colors mm, that, that they, they use. Yeah, it's cute. Outside of the black, like yeah. those, like that. And teal I went with my first pair to be a collab. I want like a yeah, I want it to be a regular pair. But that teal in the back, that's really cute. I like that teal, like on the heel tag. That's yeah. really really cute. That's cute. I like the different textures that they use. Yeah, too. like this. This is a really a really nice collab. Is um, that suede at the toe? Where the bodega's at? Let me see. It looked like it a little bit. At the front? Let yeah. Let me see. Yeah, it do look like a little suede in the front. I can't tell. I got maybe. Yeah, this is a nice shoe. I I just want y'all to get pairs that y'all really like and don't just be riding the wave. Yeah. Like I, like the shoe. 
I don't do. I really do want a pair, but I don't want. I, this yeah, pair. I like. I seen like a um somebody had like this white pair, but it had like mad colors in it. Mm-hmm. I like that one. It was real it's cute. Tan neutral pair that but I was white, looking at. I would fuck them shits up. Exactly. So. I'm not doing that. That's why I, I saw this tan pair. I was gonna get them from my job. I was like, I can't do this. I'm gonna fuck them up. Um, the Bodega collab will come out on the 29th of July. That's this week. The same day that uh Beyonce album dropped. Please, y'all. Don't OD. <laughs> y'all gonna stay up. You won't break my soul. When is that? Y'all gonna stay up all night. Oh, look, the Pink Sauce lady. She went live. What yeah, she said? Yeah, that's why I was like, good little look. I don't know. She didn't know what the FDA was. What? No. Oh, yeah, they said the FDA came knocking on her door. And that's what y'all get. That's what y'all get for ordering that lady's shit. The FDA came knocking at the lady's door. Mm-mm. God damn mess. Don't eat that stuff no more, y'all. Why okay. do y'all buy shit that don't have labels on it? Before we get out of here, though, y'all, we do got a nice little uh, shoe. Mine's unboxing, in the corner. Unboxing, unboxing, unboxing. Sorry, I forgot. We both got a pair. Both got a pair. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got your mind. Both got up here. Let's, let's wait for Michaela to get her shoe. <laughs> you dropping shit in my bag. Mm. Wow. Wow. Y'all should have seen what he looked. <laughs> and I looked, man, right, and I looked right back. Ah! <laughs> and I looked right back. Rihanna and ASAP Rocky was out. Where the baby? Is she not hot? I want to see the baby. <laughs> Is she yeah, not they hot? said they was, she was out last night in New York with this long sleeved coat. It's leather. Oh, yeah. Rihanna. I don't think celebrities be hot. No. They, they be, have different skin. They be hopping out of they the, have to. They be hopping them, out of the car right, right into the place they go on. They don't even be outside for long enough. What was that rapper? Not Quavo, not Offset, the other one. Takeoff? Yeah. He had on black. <laughs> okay, Yo, that you. lady said, What was that rapper? <laughs> not Quavo, not Offset. The other one. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> She didn't even say, which, who's the Migos? Like, she didn't even say, like, name the Migos. She said, who's that rapper? Not Quavo, not Offset. The other one. Poor Takeoff. Take he off. don't be having the best verses for you to treat him like this. He do, but I just couldn't think of his name. He just had an all-black Balenciaga. I'm like, yo, you about to pass away. No, they do be hot. Right, so we got hot. different skin. The women's Dunk Low, Lisa Leslie, living legend. That lady just turned 50 years old, y'all. She the baddest. 50. Go ahead. The baddest. Shout black, out to Lisa. Black don't crack. Black don't crack. All right. So. <laughs> What's she? You got, the, you got the left? I got the, I got the left. You got the right? The, nah. No, we both got. Okay. That's Somebody got to take out the left so we can see. I mean, the right so we can get the other left. That's the first one on. that came out. That's the first one. You That's know, the like first the, one that came out. Boom. There you go. All right. So we got the left. We got the right. Here is the shoe. It is a valid pair that y'all did not. Do a good job on promotion. Yeah, I did not like, do a good job on the rollout. Like, but the crazy thing, I still can't get them on a fucking app. I <laughs> make them. Yeah, say. I did like, get them they sell on the out, app. But they were so easy to get. I don't understand that. Right, make I, it make sense. I struck out on the app as well. I just I don't understand why I didn't roll this out better. Like, they could have done so much. You know how many this. Nike athletes? Now, how many women in in the W are Nike athletes? Y'all could have had them come to the. Y'all could have had this Sparks players. The whole Sparks team could have had a. There's pair. literally they Sparks could've... players that are are Nike athletes. Y'all could have had them in the shoe. Like, y'all, y'all could have rolled this out so much y'all better. Don't be using your brains. Lisa didn't deserve this, but the shoe is fire. The leather tumble leather. Very fire. As you know, Lisa Leslie wore number nine, so they got the nine stitch on the side. I like the padding um, at the ankles. Yeah, the and the tongue, is, the is, tongue is satin. The tongue is satin. You got a satin pair of laces, Those purple are, yeah. satin laces. Come on, that y'all didn't do my sis no justice. And you got the teal laces. I'm not a fan of the black laces. They come they, laced they up they in the feel black. Weird. I don't like. Them. But like, they just look like I don't know. It just don't it makes give it look. It, it doesn't don't give, give it a pop. I yeah. feel like the teal will make it look like. Really I would pop. like the teal. I don't. Yeah. I don't think this give it what it's supposed to give. But I mean, come on, satin on the. Come on, it's satin in the back. It's satin on the hill. Come on. Why y'all? Y'all played my girl. <sighs> y'all played Lisa for real. Y'all really did play Lisa. She didn't deserve that. Like, but they could have done a whole rollout on the app. She could have came on the app and talked about it. She turned 50. Why? Wow, that's, that's what? Come on. Y'all, y'all really played with Lisa. Y'all was like, all right, we gave you a shoe. That's right. right. Here you go. Y'all could have rolled this out way better because this is really good. All they did was post it on the app. Like, here, bitch. Really that's exactly what they quality. did to us. Um, I seen a few people, you know, yeah, I know I be following a lot of W stuff. It was a few women that went to games, went they to a Sparks signs. game, and Lisa was there, and she signed their shoes, so that was dope, too. Lisa was out here, you know, but 
I didn't even see her. Did she have a thing? She wasn't. She the first, ever, she, Lisa was the first one that she was the first woman to dunk in the WNBA game, right? Yeah, I she was the first so. one. And then Candice, Candice Parker did it after that. Same team too. Shout out! Come on, shout out to the girls. Um, but yeah, I, I feel love like it feels really nice. So. It, yo, tumble. Y'all really. Y'all could have had a whole story. Like y'all could have had. They could have so done that. Stuff. That um, what you call it? They could have done that commercial. Y'all didn't even give us a like a behind the design. Nope. No, like nothing. Like they was like, here's a shoe. Yeah, that's it. No story, just vibes. I mean, at least y'all was nice enough to stitch the nine on there, though. Yeah, that's the least they could do. Now I gotta find then me then a, a, a Lisa Leslie jersey. Now I'm invested in finding a jersey, though. I'm mad I had one. Yeah, now I need I need a jersey. What's that? Why are you doing it? <laughs> okay, now nah, because I <laughs> I played too much. Um, yeah, this is quality, and I don't appreciate that y'all did not give Lisa the proper rollout. Like, y'all should have had my sis face places. You know what I'm saying? Like, match my nails. Okay, come on. Okay, match your nails. Look, let me hide my finger. I get my nails done tomorrow. I broke my, I broke my nail today. I was so pissed. Damn. The day before. The day before the appointment. That'd be happening. Um, Ghetto. But yeah, y'all should have gave Lisa. Lisa deserved more. They And it was like, I don't know, it was kind of like y'all dropped the ball because... Everybody was doing like they did that whole Title Nine thing on ESPN. And it's like, oh, why they didn't do it then? Women. Y'all did the third. Y'all did the third. They could have shot dropped them then on the but um, no. on the the Dream Team. She was on the fucking Dream Team for the women's Olympic the ninety six Olympic team. Like, this. like there was so many opportunities for y'all to like present this shoe in a different. But no, just app. Manner instead of just like, oh, it popped up on the app. And like, oh, a few stores have it. Like, sign up for the raffle. Like, I don't know. It just. Yeah, I don't fuck with women. I don't know. It wasn't given. Yeah. Like, like I mean, like, I know that the Jackie Robinson thing is a, is different. It's a bigger story. But like, but, you know, y'all so, gave him a story. Let's talk about it. Y'all gave him a behind it. Y'all, Why didn't we get that? Y'all gave, the, y'all gave just, it a story. Yeah, I understand. But this is just as big as Jackie Robinson, too. Like, don't do that. That's fucked up. Well, I was just no, saying no, because, saying, like, yeah, you no. know, like, there's yeah. certain, there's certain yeah. aspects to it that is a little different yeah, but historically. They had to go as big as it did for Jackie Robinson, but they could at least do something. They could have did something for Lisa. I just feel like y'all didn't give my sister enough shine. Man. But the shoe is really nice, and I hope that. In some way, shape, or form, Lisa seeing all of her fans want her to sign the shoe. I have an idea. Gives her like some kind of, you know, makes her feel good yeah, about it. I have an idea, but I'm going to leave it. I'm going to just write, write it down right now if I forget it. All right, write it down. Write it down. But yeah, if y'all know anybody who got a, a decent uh, Lisa Leslie Sparks jersey, I mean, she ain't play for I'm nobody really else. I'm pissed so. I ain't got mine no more. Not like she played for any other team, but once a spark, always a spark. If y'all got a good quality one, hit me up. That's what that's what the WNBA needs to do. They need to bring out. The they retro, need to the roll jerseys? out. They need the retro jerseys. I, we've been asking for the dresses. That's what y'all really need Can to. Y'all y'all need the retro the jerseys for real because at this point, I just have to give up the hope that Maya Moore is ever going to touch the court again. My my sister freed her man from jail. She didn't have a baby. <laughs> She's just never going to touch the court again. So I do. I would like a throwback, um, like a first season, uh, her rookie year, Minnesota Lynx. Um, Maya Moore jersey. I would like one of those. Like my sister, and she ain't really officially retired, so I mean, like, but she never gonna touch the court again. It's alright. Um, yeah, but I need y'all to do that. So run those. I don't know who y'all need to contact, but the jerseys will sell out because y'all be selling the current players' jerseys and they jerseys be selling out. So like, you don't think if you retro some jerseys they would sell out? Retro Lisa Leslie jersey so they could go in my dunks. Thank you, WNBA and NBA since y'all are t- in control of it. Like, do something. Do something. Right. It, even if y'all don't have them on a... Put them on somebody's side. Put them on the NBA side, WNBA side. Put the put the retro the jerseys and put them up I'm aware somewhere. Of, I'm going to wear these on my shirt. So, come on. Yeah, I'm going to wear these um, on my shirt. That's what I'm about to do. But yeah, these is fire, y'all. Dude. And look at us. Look at us here. I like this. All right, y'all. Let me, let me put the shoe back. Let me put the shoe back. It's been a time. We've had a great time being back in the studio today. I had fun. I missed it. It was cute. I did. I really missed we had it. A, we had a time. We had a time, time last, last night. night. That's going to be the name of the episode. We had a time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the name of the episode. We had a time. Yeah. For real. Because this weekend, both of us had a time. Mm-hmm. We both I had, had to, to re- I had We to re- both had to go to sleep with uh, 
Icy, icy hot. Icy hot. And all that shit. It's a Aspen week. It's, it's a week because my back was screaming. We really getting old, so. Yeah. I, I don't, don't know what's going on with us, but we getting old, so. Youth. We not youth no more. We not youth. And the streets is getting hot. Bye. And the youths, them I get so cold. I'm getting off. <laughs> turn, turn your mic off. <laughs> Why you got to turn, turn your mic off? <laughs> Turn it you said you, and that was the first thing that came to I home. know, I said it in my head, but I was going to sing it. And the youths, them I get so cold. Good day, y'all. All right, y'all. It's we'll been fun. We'll see y'all next time. Good day. <laughs> 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 Something wrong with you. It's not, nothing's wrong with me.